But you'll have to head to the Pine Belt for Festival South, which is an annual multi-week festival that's got a variety of musical and other arts-related entertainment. And joining us to tell us a little bit more is Dr. Mike LaPinto. Hi, Doctor. Hey, hey Rebecca. How, How are, are you? you? I am doing well. I have to tell you a funny. We were trying, was trying to get your name down before the show, and I said, like, Pinto, like the bean. I said, then I'm going to come out and say Dr. LaPinto Bean, and then I got tied up with it, and I said, so now you have a new uh, nickname. Thanks. You got it right. <laughs> I got it's, it's right. It's the easy Italian. We like to say Lo Pinto. Lo Pinto. But I will tell you, it's been spelled and said to me so many ways, I don't even clinch anymore. My simple mind, though, added bean to the end to remember it, and I almost said it, and then well, I felt filled. And yeah. if people of a certain age will also know that it's the Pinto car, and I've lived through and down <laughs> all of that. Okay. Well, y'all have got a lot going on in the Pine Belt. Uh, I guess it's starting now or the upcoming next uh, few weeks. I think this is our third or fourth year to talk, Mike, about the Festival South, which means it's going well. It keeps growing every year. So what's going on in Hattiesburg? Well, this is our 14th season. We actually open May 30th and run through June 24th with about 50 events. For all ages of all types of music, art, theater, dance, fun things to have for the whole family in Hattiesburg. Wow, 50 events now. When it started 14 seasons ago, did you ever expect to have 50 events to be managing? Well, you know what's strange is we've actually had that many, and we've had more. We've um, done many things that are just enormous, and over the years we decided to really call down what we did to just the absolute finest, best thing, and also just to manage it, just to, to be able to do it. Um, because Festival South is a really big deal with lots of volunteers and people who come and help us all through um, the festival season. But the rest of the year, it's just a few of us putting it together and making sure that it's all going to happen. But we've called it down to just the absolute best so that it is a showcase of some of the great arts and entertainment that is here in Mississippi, and particularly that find its home in Hattiesburg. Do you find that with it being like a multiple-week event that more folks sort of come, get saturated, pick what's most important to them, or maybe catch something they normally wouldn't because they're coming for something that's most important to them, and give them the opportunity to maybe get more of a variety than they would if it was, say, like a weekend festival? Absolutely. We try and actually be very aware of doing things. Like so the way the festival is set up is around a lot of weekends, but we run Thursday through Sunday through four separate weekends of the month of June and or late May this time because of the calendar, um, where we offer things that is a classical music one night, a country event the next morning, a Latin jazz event with a guitar recital in the afternoon, and then a rock concert and a concert in the park with a gospel afternoon Sunday kind of thing. So there's something that you can go, oh, wow, there's all of that. And, oh, well, there's also a 5K that happens. There's children's programming that happens all around these things as well. And we try and take you all over town throughout the Forest and Lamar counties here around Hattiesburg and the area to take you in different places to experience different things. And that's what we hear from the people who have joined us for many years now and the people who keep coming is it's always something new. It's always something different. But if it says Festival South, it's probably going to be good. Even if you don't quite know what it is, you're going to enjoy yourself. Do you have folks that have made all 14 seasons? We absolutely do. We call them our festival favorites. And they are absolutely a regular group of folks. And they come and see me. And there are people who make every event. Wow. I have a hard time making every event myself. I, that, I, that's my job, so I have to. And it's rough. And these people who make it all, they have come and they've just decided this is going to be their thing for June. And a lot of them talk about it as their sort of staycation. They're getting to stay home and you know sleep in their own bed and eat whatever they want to eat, but go to amazing events just right at their doorstep. Oh, that's really cool. That's really cool. Hey, maybe coming up we should get one of your festival favorites on to sort of share some of their favorites over the years and what they're looking oh, uh, forward to. But what are we looking forward to? Because you've got 50 events that are fixing to hit the Pine Belt over the next several weekends. I know we can't talk about all 50 of them today here on Good Things, but what are your highlights? What are you excited about, Mike? Well, we aim people to our headliner events. If it's their first time to find Festival South, absolutely to experience those. And this year we're going big. We are opening with Disney's Beauty and the Beast, May 30th through June 3rd. It is a giant production um, with our great sponsors, Hancock Whitney, Forest General, Visit Mississippi, Visit Hattiesburg, Pine Belt Ford, Courtesy Ford. takes a lot to put on a show of this magnitude. It's a giant cast, uh, sets out of New York, costumes out of Maine, performers from about five states being a part of this full orchestra. I would say when you see a harp in an orchestra, you know you're doing something right. 
Um, and it is a major, major um, production that opens May 30th, runs through June 3rd. That's our first big, big weekend thing. Our second weekend is a program called American Landscape, brought to us by Mississippi Power. And it is a multi-sensory chamber music experience. It's the festival chamber players, and they are some of our most incredible classical musicians. You know, Hattiesburg is blessed with two very good schools of music. Um, the Southern Miss School of Music has just been a preeminent force in the country, if not the world, um, as a school of music. And we have some amazing talent that has come out of there. And that, whether they are from Southern Miss or not, are kind of inhabited Hattiesburg. They, husbands and wives and friends and others, they find this great school and want to be around it and work with it or for it. So these chamber players are just stunning. They're playing an all-American program and doing something really special with that as well. It's called the Red, White, and Bourbon Pairing. So you can come enjoy the concert, and you can enjoy um, wines and or bourbons that have been curated especially for that evening. Oh, that's cool. It's a really fun escape. It truly is. It's down in our depot here, too. So the historic Hattiesburg Train Depot, which is a beautiful space, um, all lit up and enjoying some wine. It's a great Saturday evening out. That is Saturday, June 10th at 7.30 p.m. That and Beauty and the Beast, before we move on, Mike, will you need pre-tickets before that, or is it things you can get at the door? You For our headline events, you cannot wait. I'm stressing this again. You cannot wait for a headliner event. Um, Beauty and the Beast has multiple nights. that are One is basically sold out. The others are getting very close. You need to do that immediately. Um, American Landscape is 50% sold already, and, you know, it's still – you know, just about a month away. Um, Matt Mason comes up the next weekend, June 17th. He ends his That's My Q tour. Um, he is a performer, a kind of indie rock performer that has done some amazing performances, just um, including Bonnaroo, Lollapalooza, Forecastle, some, some of our great giant internationally known festivals. And he's ending at Festival South. And I know that is Saturday, June 17th at the Sanger. And I know that the tickets for that are already very scarce. Wow. So, That's again, impressive. I'm saying if you want tickets to Festival South headline events, you have to get them ahead of time. It's very, it's, it's a great problem to have. We, we try and get in the biggest venues we can for these headline events because people have really latched on to knowing that they are going to be stunning events. Okay, some of the, you got a few minutes left. What are some of the smaller events that may not be headliners? Or you may have had one more headliner to share with us, Mike. Well, I'm going to show you yeah. the finale. The festival finale is always a huge deal. And this year, we are doing a program called Iconic. It's a Cirque Rock Symphonic Extravaganza, and it is all of those words. Um, If you can imagine um, the music of Aerosmith, Bruno Mars, Michael Jackson, Santana, Styx, Whitney Houston, more and more and more with some incredible singers. If anybody saw our Queen show last year, the guy that, one of the guys that played Freddie Mercury is coming back to sing this stuff. He just is, I mean, freak of nature voice. Just amazing. Plus backup singers, plus a choir, plus the full festival orchestra and cert performers. And for the first time ever, we have moved to the convention center here, the Lake Terrace Convention Center. That's Saturday, June 24th, to wrap things up at 7.30 p.m. And it had to be in the convention center because it's the only place big enough to hold this show. It is the single biggest finale we've ever done. And Beauty and the Beast is the single biggest musical we've ever done. We sort of, you know, did a lot of adjusting over the pandemic, and we decided we are back in full force, and we were going to go hard this year. So, y'all are want people to come out and see it. Come out, see it. Go ahead and get your uh, tickets if you want to see one of the headliner shows. If you want to find some of the smaller shows that are sprinkled throughout, because you gave us four good ones. But if I was doing math as hard, there's 40 plus left, <laughs> Mike, that we can get out and maybe see throughout the upcoming weeks. So, where's a whole rundown? if we want to plan our trip to the Pine Belt and see some great um, entertainment. Absolutely. Everything is at festivalsouth.org. That's festivalsouth.org. And you can go click on the events tab, and you can look at it in all sorts of different ways, as a calendar, as a date, as day-by-day. Add it to your calendar, anything you want. But check out the events. There's so many things. Like I said, the major adult kind of events are Thursday through Sunday with everything from jazz with Ella Fitzgerald, coffee concerts, There are recitals from guitar and voice to a Broadway evening called Spectacular Spectacular. A whole Juneteenth weekend as well with some amazing performers. Another beer event called Beertoven um, that you're going to have fun with that as well. And then, you know, there's also events for kids. If you want looking for something to do for a weekend or need something to do, come on over and into Hattiesburg and 
check it all out. Again, that's festivalsouth.org. All right, Mike, buckle up. You got a long couple of weeks, exciting and exhausting and rewarding. Well, we look forward to hearing all about it and having you back next year. So I appreciate your time. We appreciate it. Y'all have a great day, and we'll see you at Festival South. All righty, you guys stick with us. We got more for you coming up next.